your boy, your uh, <laughs> your t- two grown man baby bizoids. No, they definitely grown men. <laughs> they grown men, bro. One, one of them wore a shout cap for years. <sighs> yeah. Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> he did. It was. I was bizarre. just trying to think back. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah he, he, did. Fucking yeah, did. he, he did. did. He did. He did. It was bizarre. And that's why his name is Bizarre. Out of D12. Out of D12. Uh, so him and Joe Budden got some beef. Uh, <laughs> kind of wild. Um, All because kinda, of what? Because Eminem didn't have a great album. And Joe Budden didn't believe it was a great album. He had a, he had an opinion. Well, Joe Budden's opinion was very, is, was very, very, very strong. Let's just, let's just be It honest. was very strong. Yeah, you know I'm saying. He said he also has a voice that people listen to because right. people are tuning into what he, you know, what he's saying. Right. Um, but it was still, I remember when I watched it, it was on Everyday Struggle. And I remember yeah. when I seen it, I remember going, damn, that was kind of harsh, especially for somebody that's signed to Eminem. They've worked together. They've gone on yes. tour together. They've been in the studio together. You know what I'm saying? And it's Eminem it's too, own, on it, top of that. In a sense, it should be your homie a little bit. Yeah, yeah. What? I mean, but who knows how the relationship really yeah, was? You know what I'm saying? Just like they could have never been just in the studio business. together. Yeah, could have been yeah. business. You know, just yeah, yeah, that happens, right? Um, and damn, yeah, <laughs> that's like that's biting the hand that feed, feeds you a little bit. Yeah, I gotta say that. Um, I, I kind of rock with Joe Budden on this. You know what I'm saying? Because I mean, why can't Joe Budden have, have an, an opinion? opinion? You know what I'm saying? You. Even exactly. if it is trash. I know it kind of sucks because it's your boss. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But what are you supposed to do? Yeah. Lie? You're yeah. supposed to be like, that was the greatest I've ever heard. No. Right. That's why this, be honest. Be that's a man. Why, that's Tell why this album up. probably sounds as doo-doo as it does because nobody's going and saying, yo, this shit's trash. Exactly. Every, you know everyone saying? around him while he was making it and putting it together was was on their knees praising it. Right. You know, this is great, Eminem. This is awesome. Is your best work. You know, you get surrounded by that, then you start believing it because you're hearing it. You know, you didn't have the people that are being honest with you, though. You got people that are doing it because money, business. Money, right. You know, right. You know they're just thinking, oh, sales. Oh, we got pop artists that we're going to get this going. Yeah. You know, it's, it's all business. It's the, it's, it's the industry at yeah. the end of the day that really kind of shitted on everything. But it also, did he not run these songs by his homies? Like by his by 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 his aces, you know. Like, I think people were like, "Yeah, this is this is good, Marshall." You know what I'm saying? You need to be a little bit more. And honest. that's the problem. You should have been like, "This ain't no motherfucking Marshall. This ain't you, him. We want motherfucking Slim Shady." Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And we would have probably got some Slim Shady. Yeah, uh, I he kinda, would have respected that shit too. Yeah, I don't think he'd been mad. I right. think he respect that you're giving him a fucking honest answer. Right. I mean. And then, you know, Joe Budden kind of said that Bizarre hadn't talked to Eminem in 10 years. Oh, God. Years. Yeah. Probably since the last D12 album. Yeah, which is kind of, it's kind of odd that, you know, I mean, I know they're probably homies for life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But. And that happens to homies. You don't yeah. talk to them for a long time and then, you know, you pick up where you left off when you do finally. Yeah, right, right. But, right. but still. Yeah. That's odd. It's definitely odd. You know what I'm saying? Damn. But, uh, I mean, cause what's a text message or hello uh, or. A Merry Christmas, you know, <laughs> Happy Birthday. I still talk to my homies, man. That yeah. I, I mean, like that I haven't kicked it with or whatever. I still talk to them. You know I talk to regularly. Like, there's a few that I should talk to a little bit more, or a little bit more in depth than just you know. Uh, a few, I, see, I see what you're saying. Yeah, like there's a few that I do have like that. That right. you know, I need to step up my game this year. Right, right. But you know, overall in that business, you know, and as friends, you know, coming up, you put them on, you made money. I mean, like it was a little bit more than you know, just a friend. I mean, it was it's your friend growing up type shit. You put them on, y'all made money. You would think there'd be some kind of still relationship, right? Somewhat. I mean, the, you know, Eminem. I mean, yeah, he's a legend, man, but he's not. He's not like void of criticisms. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like he's 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 got to get the same criticisms that everybody else. Yeah, gets. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I like I love Eminem. He's old. He's not that. perfect. He's you know old that in a sense, like. Yeah. Where, you know, he even said on his own shit, people look at him as a god and he's thinking like, what the fuck? Like, I'm just a fucking, I'm just a man. I'm a human. I'm just, I'm like you. So people need to start treating him like that. Right. You know, where, you know, and that's the thing. He even sees it himself where people treat him that way. Like, whatever, whatever you say, Eminem. Oh yeah, that's right. And yes, men, you know, 
You get that around you, you're not gonna, you're not coming, you're not gonna be your full potential. You're not you're gonna not, come man. out with you're your You're not gonna be material. tip top. You're not gonna be tip top. You're just not. You're not. There's you no way that it's gonna happen unless you have your aces, your homies, the ones that are gonna be real with you. Right. You know, behind closed doors tell you that that shit is whack or that shit, you need to step it up. You know, or, or leave that one out. You know, don't put that one on the album. It's not, it ain't for this. You know, right. <sighs> Dr. Dre. Yeah, supposed to be the guy needed, to doing it. He needed to be there. <laughs> right. Uh, Another thing, too, that's interesting is um, I, there may be a beef brewing between Eminem and Joe Budden, and this could spill over into wax. Which, onto, would, be, which would be awesome. On the beach. Would it Would it really be awesome, though? It'd be bad to see that. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're, they're you know, it's like a boss and an employee fighting. <laughs> you know? Like, having words. You thought, like, when you're at work and, and there's uh, the boss is fighting with the, well, arguing one, with the employee. One of the employees. You're just trying to do your like, work oh, and shit. shit. Just trying to keep your head down. But, but you, you're paying attention. You can't keep your head away. Like, like, I, got, I, got, I, got, I got I got it. I got it. <laughs> right, right, yeah. That's pretty much what's going on. <laughs> yeah. Man. Um... <laughs> Yeah, you know, uh, but I don't know. I I really don't. I don't think the game needs that that beef personally. I don't think it does. It it's would just be a interesting, man's, though, it, man. It's just a man's opinion, and if you can't take that, you know. Well, listen, though, you'd have to you have to literally fight the whole internet, like he basically was battling, kind of saying that. But he's not. Joe Budden's been I fighting have. the whole internet since. Yeah, he has himself. Yeah, yeah. So now <laughs> Eminem's fighting the internet and Joe Budden too, and they're both got to right, beef right, with the internet right, as well. So, yeah. you know, the enemy of your enemy is my friend. <laughs> <laughs> or some yeah. shit. Is that, did I say that right? I, I mean, look, yeah, it's some, it's some, some shit like that. Well, like, let me my, ask you this: the though. enemy of my enemy is who, my friend. Who yeah. would? <laughs> who do you think would win right now in a toe to toe, bar for bar battle between Joe Budden and Eminem? <sighs> I have to go with M. Are you going with Eminem because of that Chloe Sutton remix? Yeah, <laughs> that's hands. Out. I mean, that's exactly what was going through my head right, when you, before right. you even said it. I we haven't saying. heard anything from Joe Budden in a long ass that's fucking time, true. so we don't. But the know. last thing we heard was him and Drake going at it, and he kind of he didn't do himself justice on that. Battle. I mean, it wasn't like he wasn't spitting bars. It just was yeah. that Drake decided not to engage in it. Yeah, but then the you next couple of ones that he came out with were like weaker. It was getting weaker. It wasn't getting better to me. Like, because he came out with a couple tracks, didn't he? I think he came out with two. Two? Yeah. Well, the second one was weaker. And I was thinking, how are you, how are you, how are you supposed to... I think that he was he was trying to play Drake into a corner and it didn't work. So, I think that threw away that mess up. Because I think he said that he had like four tracks yeah. that he had written for Drake. You know what I'm saying? No. You know, at that point, it's like, well, I don't know which where to go because this motherfucker didn't play the hand that I thought he was going to play. play you know what I'm saying? So he he might have two more tracks huh. that were better than the first one. Could have we'll been. never know because, you know what I'm saying? Because well, of the way they played that. out. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But um, Joe Budden and Eminem. Beast, Joe Budden is a beast, so. I think Eminem will win, too. I believe Eminem will get him. Yeah. It's like, yeah, come on. But it would definitely it would definitely be interesting to see Joe Budden. It would be Joe Budden. Joe be Budden is not afraid to lose. You see what I'm trying to nah, say? Yeah, he's one of those guys that he'll keep he'll he'll fight you no matter what. Right. He's not he's not afraid to lose. It's like Scarface on the fix. Yeah, like Scarface said. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, I got an impeccable record, twenty seven and five. Yeah, yeah, that line. Yeah, sure. Um, but yeah, man, shout out to Joe Budden. Shout out to B- well, Bizarre. Mm-hmm. Um, and shout out to him and them. Yeah, I don't know why I say shout out to Bizarre. I didn't even did you listen to Bizarre's album. No, I never did listen to it. Why? Because I heard him on D12 albums. You didn't like him on D12 albums? <laughs> he was always just like... He was like the yeah, oddball. Got this motherfucker on here. Bizarre. He was yeah. bizarre. Yeah. You know, literally. So I was like... Uh. There's some people that love Bizarre's music, yeah. though. Oh, there is. He has a fan base. Oh, we definitely okay. have a fan base. Everybody, I had a roommate that was Bizarre. Really? He fucking loved Bizarre. Damn. And he used to play his shit a lot of nights be like, bro, why do you like this shit? But... I mean, it's what it is. Everybody's got fans, bro. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. <laughs> it's just interesting. It is interesting. But yeah, man, shout out to shout out to the whole D12 and everybody. Shout out to all.